All right, you guys know what this is here? Yep, scooter battery. Uh, despite all the work that has been happening and that we've been doing to get these to be able to work as is and to wake up the, the internal BMS, there are still some of you guys who um, wanna use these to harvest the cells out of them, right? And I get it, I get it. There's quite a bit of cells that come out. Look at all these cells. And these are kind of premium, right? And the price, they're priced good for you to harvest them, right? The problem is that, well, they're a bit hard to take apart, right? And what we're doing is that we're taking uh, the cases off for you guys, right? We're offering them at the same price without the case. And they come like this. They have a bunch of goo. They have a rubber in here, right? Now this stuff comes off really easy. You could just use your fingers and it comes off, right? I mean, look, let me show you. Um, I mean, like the chunks come out and then you just start working your way out and then you just start taking it out, right? So that part is easy. The hard part is when you get to this point, right? And you get to this point where you've taken off all this goo and then you've taken off the, all the nickel, you know, stripping that goes in here. Then at that part, you have to take these two sides apart. And because of this uh, goo or whatever, this rubber compound that's in here, it's a little hard, but it's not possible. Let me introduce you guys to my friend. This guy here is called Leverage. And what you have to do is you have to use two of these boards. You have to use some leverage to um, screw a couple boards in here, right? These battery packs have some screws in here. And then what then you can do is very easily spread them apart. Let me show you how it's done. Do you guys see these two holes here? There's four of them in each corner of the battery. Uh, I mean, one on each corner of the battery. So what you have to do is you just use those same screws, holes, to put some screws. Uh, I use uh, four of these L brackets, metal L brackets. And then get yourself two pieces of wood. The longer they are, the easier they're gonna be to spread. You see how I'm spreading that? Okay. Look at that. Look at how easy that is. Yeah, piece of cake. Here we go. There we go. All right, after that, then all of these cells should be able to just come out very easily now. All right, and that's, there you go. That's how you end up with 40 cells, uh, Panasonic NCR18650 BDs, 3,200 milliamp hours. These are pretty much top of the line cells, right? And you get 40 off of each one of these packs. Here are the two things that come off. I use a couple of these little L angles with some little screws, smaller screws and they went right on here, come off right off really easy. All right, so that's how you harvest the cells out of these scooter battery packs. Um, you know, if you, you don't have to, but if you must and you really wanna use them, the cells raw because 36 volts doesn't work for you uh, and you wanna test them and do all that stuff that we do with the harvested cells, there you go, go at it. Um, the rest of us, I think we're going to be building our 
power wall, sort of like this one here, uh, as is. And we're gonna be using the little Arduino. Uh, I'm, we're also gonna be doing this sort of stuff where we take all that extra compound off and then we're gonna power it and we're gonna put them together and then make like a box sort of like this that it will be 36 volts uh, that will allow you to, well, have a 36 volt battery, right? This is four kilowatt hours right here. So it allows you to have a very, very compact battery pack. And then obviously, then I'm gonna be reviewing this guy. I'm gonna show you how to use something like that to add further battery to this guy, the Blue Eddy AC250. And it's bigger brother that's coming on, uh, on March. There's another bigger one that, yeah, we'll be able to do that. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.